All right, we're in the shop today at Main Street Cycle, and we're gonna be showing you a how-to video on servicing a CF Moto Z Force 500 trail. This is gonna be a very much needed service on this unit. It's got a lot of miles on it. We're gonna be changing out to the Team MSC air filter. We've got our oil change kit or service kit from teammscparts.com. We're gonna take you through the the service process. One of the great things about ordering from teammscparts.com is you take the guesswork out of what oil you need and what oil filter, all that stuff. You're gonna be sent the right stuff and super quickly as well. So make sure you go to the link down in the description of this video if you're needing a service kit. We're lifting this unit up just for video purposes. You can do this right there on your floor. You can, uh, don't, you know, you can jack it up a little bit if you gotta get under it but you need it to be on an even surface. You need to have ran your machine just for uh, a minute or so, maybe a little bit more, just to heat up the oil, let it circulate. That way we can drain everything out of it. All right, Joel, what size do the people need? 17. 17 millimeter. Gonna take the drain bolt out right there. black gold right there boys all right we're gonna let it drain out in your kit you'll get a new washer here for your drain bolt you want to definitely replace that I right, need just gonna screw that back in and we'll go ahead and we'll torque it down if you do not have a torque wrench please do not strip this thing out okay don't you ain't got a bow up on it now you want to get to your oil filter cap you're going to need an eight millimeter socket to get to this you can use a quarter inch ratchet that would be best and uh, that way you don't strip anything but just remove those three bolts and i'm going to get out of the way so joel can do that now all right a little bit of oil is going to come out so make sure you have your oil catch can or uh, pan down beneath all right and then there's your o-ring so make sure you don't lose that. Then you can dispose of your oil filter and we're gonna be putting in a new one. All right, now you're gonna take your new oil filter, just put it back in. And then you wanna take your oil filter cap with your new O-ring and just put that back in. Start your three eight millimeter bolts. I know that not everybody has a torque wrench, so my suggestion to you on these uh, eight millimeter bolts is to use a quarter inch ratchet with your eight millimeter socket and do not bow up on it. It don't take much to tighten these down. You don't want to strip them. Before we put the oil in, which is a step you don't want to miss, we're gonna go ahead, service the air filter. We're actually putting a Team MSC air filter in so while we have it in this position for video purposes we're going to go ahead and remove this cover and that's going to reveal the air box yeah the owner should have cleaned this huh yep joel <laughs> this is joel's uh old hunting unit it's it's kind of been abused but anyway still going strong great little unit Ooh, Joel. <laughs> Told you. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys. This is what you don't This is what you don't want to do. Alright? Please, for the love, service your air filter. Anyways, so we're gonna remove that. I just went ahead and pulled that out because it usually comes out easier. We're yeah. gonna pull this one out of the field. Alright. So you do have two clamps there. You can just pull this one off and leave this in the box, but I like to just go ahead and put this on the yeah. filter, man. That part goes in easier than it does in the filter. Right, if you borrow one on the top side, you need to clean the air filter when you get it back. You already cleaned it for a bargain. Harmon, did you do that? Yeah, hold on. I checked this thing before I left. It looked just like this. I wrote it on <laughs> pavement the whole time. <laughs> That's what they all say, Harmon. No. And now we're getting our Team MSC air filter out. All right, so we like to use just a little bit of grease to help with sealing the pipe on the air filter. 
and uh, just going to insert the smooth side in right there all the way to the rib clamp that down tighten her up before we insert it into the air box and mount her up we're just going to use a little bit of our air filter oil you want to spray that on nice and evenly and work it in all right once you get your oil filter nice and oiled up take and insert the pipe there and then we'll tighten that clamp down and that'll be a wrap with the airbox lid back on then we'll put our rear fender well inside all right so no telling what kind of shape it's going to be like under here but you got to remove your passenger seat and this cover here and then you can get down to your dipstick remove it put your funnel in and we'll fill her up all right and just another reminder when you get your oil change kit from teammsc you take the guesswork out of what the best oil is for your machine, what kind of oil you need to run, and the oil filter that you need. You're going to get it all right there, and uh, you'll be able to add maximum protection to your machine and make it last a long, long time. So protect your investment. You take care of it. It'll take care of you. All right, now that we've filled up our oil, we're going to crank it up, let it run, and cycle the oil for just a little bit, maybe a minute and then we'll shut her down we will check the level as well as you want to check for leaks around your oil filter cap and your oil drain bolt after you have ran it for just about 60 seconds or so you can turn it off and then you want to take your dipstick out wipe it with a clean rag then you're going to insert that back in don't screw it in just put it put it flush and then you want to check your oil level make sure it's within the right range and then put it back in, tighten her down. You can put your cover back on, put your seat back on, and you're good to go. So that's it on uh, oil change service and air filter service on a Z-Force 500 trail. If you need any accessories for your CF Moto Z-Force, we've got you covered at teammscparks.com. So go check that out. I got a link down in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, share it with a buddy that has a Z-Force. God bless you. We'll see you in the next one.